Alright, just slot the board in. Cog's turn. And somehow, all the way down the line, those move. And now we can get at the key. Not technically a key, technically a weapon, but a weapon that gets used as a key and not a weapon. It's a uh, key blade, if you will. No, it's... let us never speak of this again. It's actually Vajra, which we don't get to use, which is quite sad. I don't really see why we even need to use Vajra as a key, because the mechanism we put it in doesn't really look like it actually needed it. You'll see. Alright, and in here is where it goes Vajra. See, could we have not just done that? I don't feel like Vajra was an integral part to that mechanism. Now, we get... ...to fall. Mm-hmm. Delightful. Soul of Steel. This will get us across the gap that appeared earlier, and then open the door on the other side. Doesn't really give you that much indication that that's what it does. It's pretty common to get stuck here the first time through, but that is what it does. Alright, how's this ball gonna get us across, you ask? Well, we just kinda walk. Easy, and then we just put it in there. Looks a lot like a Chaos Emerald when it's in the mechanism. And now, we get to ride an elevator, and then we get to fight a new boss. So, I hope you like seeing Cerberus for all of like 15 minutes, because he's about to get replaced. This face is a bonus level, by the way. Don't care about them, they're all pretty tedious. They're things like... Get to A in style rating, but without attacking. So just by dodging. Which, uh, I don't want to do. And if you do do it, all you get is a quarter of a blue soul. A uh, blue orb, rather. And if you get four of them, you get an extra pip on your health bar, which is, ooh, very exciting. So, the fear here is you can fall off this elevator. And if too many of these people get on the elevator, it falls down, because, you know, powered by arcane energy, demons and all that, but uh, also has a strict, like, 100 kilogram weight limit. And fantastic. Excellent. Now, 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 boys, calm down. You could have waited for the elevator like sensible people. All right, that's uh, not what we're really going for around here. That kind of behavior won't get you far at this company. Let's try again. There we go, isn't that easier? Yes, it is. Why didn't you do this the first time? Eh, foresight's never really been my thing. Get off. Alright, and round here is the boss. I'm afraid that I'm going to die, because I'm not super healthy right now, so I'm going to use an item. Oh god, oh no, I'm bad, I know. That, I thought I had tricks to equip still. Alright, I'm paranoid, I, brought, I bought yellow orbs, because... The thing is, with Devil May Cry, there's no checkpoints. If you die and you don't have a yellow orb, you have to do the whole stage again. And I'm afraid that I'm gonna die because I'm a scrub. So, you know. What polite demons. Brother, our guest is Sai. Sai? What is Sai? Well, a Sai is when. Enough already! How long are you two gonna keep carrying on like this? In case you didn't get the hint, I'll spell it out. Your guest wants to go through. Got it? 
Surprise, the heads aren't on the bodies, they're on the swords. Okay. So now, we're fighting... Trying to remember one of their names. Agni and Rudra. And, uh, as all dual bosses are, they're a little bit on the tedious side, because the camera is less than cooperative. So it's a bit hard to keep track of what both the brothers are doing. And, uh, also, in proud dual boss tradition, when you kill one, the brother will pick up the sword and will become more powerful. So the idea is to kill them close together, because if you don't, you gotta fight the powered up version, and the powered up version basically likes to spam a lot of room-wide AoEs. Which is, uh, not really what we're looking for around here. They can also hit each other, surprisingly. They can because you can knock their blades out if you parry them enough times, and then they kind of like, oh god, the shame, and they just sit down being sad for a while. They can do that to each other, and that's pretty funny when that happens. But uh, it does not seem like it's happening so far. They don't really do that much, but uh, it's, it's just a bit difficult to keep track of both of them when, like, he's just over there, so like... And now he's just completely gone. Oh god. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. Oh my god. Mmm, <laughs> you just can't see him coming. You just can't see him coming sometimes. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, I'm glad I bought the yellow orbs. Oh my god. Suddenly just got smacked off screen twice. It felt pretty bad. Felt pretty bad. Hey, there we go. Perfectly timed. Just bounce both their swords out their hands. Okay, I th I'm pretty sure the red one is Agni, he's dead. So now it's just Rudra. He's gonna pick his sword up now, had to do that twice. In some ways it's easier, because then you don't have to keep track of both of them. Reminds me very much of Smo and Ornstein from Dark Souls, in that it's just kind of a thing I don't want to deal with, you know? Oh god, oh, 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 scary. Oh, scary, oh my god. Oh god. Oh shit, which one is this? Oh god. Oh please, oh please, oh no. Nope, 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 nope. Oh god, oh, it didn't feel very good, no sir. Okay, third time's the charm, no problem, not even close. The deathless run can continue. Yes, wait, we have been waiting for a long time. Yes, a very long time. For someone stronger than us. Someone who can control us. My name is Agni. And my name is Rudra. You shall take us with you. We can be a great help to you. Okay. But on one condition. What is it? Name it! 
No talking. Fair enough. As you wish. Ah, uh, we saw that one talking without a face for a second. job. Good. It's a song of ice and fire. Or, well, wit, wind, wind and fire. Doesn't have quite the same ring to it. That was awful. But, uh, that's okay. Oh my, oh, oh god, oh no, oh god, don't look at it, don't look at my shame. Pretty sure that should have killed you, but <sighs> mm. six, and that's that. Yep, mm -hmm. good times. I know. All right, so first off, we're gonna change this to Agni and Rudra, and we're about to unlock this, so we're gonna change off the shotgun. Now, this is what we in the trade call a padding level, because we need to get three doodads so that we can open that door, because there's rubble in the way. You may notice that that is the gun up there. I'm not exactly a huge fan of this gun, because, uh, it just doesn't really do very much, to be perfectly honest. So we must complete three trials. Technically, we must only complete two, because two fires it. And if you complete the third trial, that gives you the gun. But we already have the gun, so we don't need to do all three. We are going to do the Test of Wisdom, which is, uh, a labyrinth that we're supposed to find our way through. It's very, very taxing, certainly does way on you a lot mentally, you know. Oh, and somehow we've made it. Goodness me, that was quite the odyssey right there. And now, we're gonna go next door and get the essence of agility in the trial of skill. The last one's combat, the reason I'm not gonna do it is because it takes fucking forever and you only get Artemis for doing it. We already have Artemis, we don't need to do it. We don't need to waste like 10 minutes fighting enemies. Because it does the da Dante Must Die difficulty thing, that everything in that room is super steroids, so it takes a long time to just finish it. This is a trial of skill. Uh, not being very skillful right now. You can just, like, dash right through them if you're not bad. Like so. Mm, almost walked straight into them. Typically what happens is I get stabbed at the end a lot because stuff just pops out in front of me. Not today. Now we have the essence of technique, not agility, my bad. Now we gotta go all the way back across the room. How fucking dare you? There we go. Now we're talking. Get away from me. Be gone. Just use him to get to the end quicker. Now we can go back and put these in the pedestal that Artemis is on. 
and we will be able to proceed. We've actually finished the stage, by the way. The last thing to do is open the door. Excellent. One frame, gone. And then you put the third one in and it sort of coils down and you get Artemis. It's, it's like... It goes pew pew. What does it do if you use Gunslinger? Apparently it doesn't do very much. You can charge it up if you use Gunslinger. Okay, I'm not a big fan. It's also just fucking ugly and always on your model. And up here is the end of the stage. Yep, that was the whole stage, those three trials. And we skipped one. Well, well. You Spooky. Stronger. Go to hell. You point a gun at me? Your own kin? Your dear papa? The Papa. only family I ever had was my mother. And she's dead! You break my heart. After all, it was I who gave you your name. My darling daughter. Bible thumb. I love how he just like gently drops it on her face and then is like, yep, flip. She has a grappling hook on her gun, by the way, just so you're aware. So she just opts not to use it and instead plummet. Oh goodness, two minutes and 17 seconds, what a trial that was. Let me just save real quick. And now we can find out what happens after the fall. This is my kind of rain. No wonder the sky looks so funny today. Let me go. Let you go. <laughs> but yeah, you sure? At least if you ended up as just a pretty stain. <laughs> Here I am trying to help you, and you show your thanks by shooting me. Twice, no less. Whatever. Do as you please. The appropriate response to getting shot in the head twice, if you ask me. So he's a demon too. Half. I'm beginning to think I've got rotten luck with women. He does. He's not wrong.